I'm Judith Patterson. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas and I'm just going to show you today how to make a card that I posted on my blog last week. Um, it was on my card, my blog May 27th. So if you want to take a look at that, it has the measurements and the instructions on the blog, but I'm going to show you today how to make it. So it's this card here. It's hope your day is as sweet as a peach is what it says. It's found on, or the, this You're a Peach Sweet is found on page 60 and 61 of the um, annual catalog. There's the front cover. This is what it looks like. We're going to be using the stamps, the dies, and the designer series paper for this card. We're also going to be using the stitched rectangle dies. So give me just a second, um, and I am going to flip my camera around and we'll start stamping. Okay, so this is the card we're making. I'm showing it again because my other camera was a little blurry earlier. So we're gonna start by using Calypso Coral and Pear Pizzazz to stamp the peach and the leaves. I'm just using a scrap piece of basic white card stock. And I have my peach on a C block and the leaves are on a B block. Get up. Get a nice peach image. And there's the leaves. The next thing I want to do is I have this piece of um, this is Euro Peach Designer Series paper. This is cut four inches to five and a quarter inches. And what I'm going to do is I have my um, stamp cut and emboss machine. So what we're going to do is use this stitched rectangle die to cut a rectangle in the upper right corner of the designer series paper. I'm going to get it as straight as I can. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but I'd like it to be pretty close. Then I'm going to run it just part of the way through. need a rectangle that is that long so I'm gonna turn it around now so that the um, the beginning of this is at the bottom left corner now and I'm going to line this up inside those grooves I can kind of feel when it's yep it's lined up now and then um, what I want to do is make this rectangle about two inches long. So this is about an inch and three quarters. Maybe a skosh more. So I want it to be about two inches this way, and that's looking pretty close. Get it lined up. Like I said, I can feel it when it's in those grooves where I want it. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of washi tape on this end just to kind of hold this in place. And then I'm going to put my plate down and start running it through. I just want everything to not move. I need to get my fingers out of there. Okay, so I'm going to run it through just a little bit because again, I don't want to cut, I don't want this portion here to cut want it to meet up where it was already cut and I'm having a hard time with this today for some reason oh, look at that I didn't quite get it far enough but that's okay it pulled right apart anyway okay so the next thing I'm gonna do 
is grab my peach dies and go ahead and cut out this peach and the leaves. I'm gonna center that up pretty, pretty nicely there. Then I'm going to hold that down with washi tape. I thought I had another piece of washi right here, but I'll just grab a new one. So I'm just getting another piece. run these all the way through because I do need those completely cut out. Right, so those came out very nice. I'm going to get all of this moved over to the side out of my way. I love that I can fold up my stamp and cut an emboss machine. That's a mouthful when I'm not using it. Um, so that it stores much smaller. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, this is a standard card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter inches. I'm gonna use my bone folder to just smooth this side out. Making sure it's lined up nice. Okay. So now I'm gonna use my Stamparatus. Because what I want to do is make sure that the um, words that I want to put inside this rectangle, I want to make sure that everything is lined up right. And I need my foam mat in the bottom of this. So let me grab that real quick. put the foam mat on because we're using photopolymer stamps we just need a little bit extra cushion these magnets are super super strong so they'll go through even when you have that um like this card is folded over i've got designer series paper and the foam mat and this magnet is still going to attach strongly okay so what i want to do first Gonna line the hope your day is as, and I want it again fairly straight. Let's pick it up with this top piece here, and then I'm gonna ink it with the Calypso Coral. Then I'm going to do sweet as a peach, placing this right underneath. And I do not know why this keeps getting so blurry, but there you can see how that's lined up pretty perfectly. So I'm going to pick it up with the other side, the other plate. I'm going to ink it up with the same Calypso Coral ink. perfection. I'll move it so you can see. There you go. And you can go ahead and attach the DSP before you stamp or you can do it afterwards either way. Um, I'm going to use my Simply Chamois. It's just slightly wet, slightly damp to wipe these off. Make sure I don't have any ink on my plates here. Okay. I'm just going to set this to the side. And I'm going to close my Calypso Coral before I have ink on everything. Okay, so I'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to go ahead and attach my designer series paper to my card. And then I'm going 
gonna use a little smidge more. I'm gonna put it here on the leaf, just on the edge here. Don't want a whole bunch. I'm gonna put it just like this. There we go. That looks nice. Now, I'm gonna take multi-dimensional, or Stampin' Dimensionals, and put a few on the back of this peach. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use many dimensionals. You could also um, just cut some of the bigger ones in half. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these little ones, and put them there on the leaf. This where it overlaps the corner. There we go. There's the front of your card. So for the inside, I have a piece of basic white cardstock. Measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to use the pear pizzazz ink with the leaves. I'm going to stamp the leaves first because I just found, for me anyway, it's easier to get everything where I want it positioned correctly if I do the leaves first and then the flowers. So I'm just going to put those in the corner right here. I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral and the flowers. First I'm going to kind of get these lined up see how I want them. I'm gonna cheat and look at this one. Okay, so the big one was on top. There we go, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up now. I have an idea of where I'm putting them. to commit to that this time, huh? Okay, and then I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday. Again, in Calypso Coral, just towards the top. Ta-da! So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. Close up my ink. I'm going to use the multi-purpose liquid glue again to attach this to the inside of the card. You can use whatever adhesive you like on the inside or on the front for that matter. I just like to use the multi-purpose glue because it gives me a few seconds to straighten up my cardstock and get everything lined up the way I want it. It's not an instant stick. And there we go. There's our card. Now if you want to, I also have this piece of designer series paper. It does not match this one exactly. It's from the same set. Um, this one has the peaches on it. This one just has flowers and leaves. But I like I like that the, the flowers and the leaves are similar, the colors are similar, everything is very similar, but I like that it also has the peaches on it. So what I'm going to do is find my envelope, and I'm going to add some more glue to just the flap, and I'm opening it up 
um, I'm laying it flat while I'm doing this so that I don't accidentally get glue someplace crazy. I can see where the edge is here. I want to make sure I get the edges because I don't want this to come off. So this is two and a half inches wide and you want to make sure it's at least six inches this way. So you want two and a half by six inches. This one's longer. I'll just trim off the excess and and save it. So make sure everything is lined up good. There we go. And then get my paper snips. And I'm just going to trim around the edge of the flap. We're all getting a lot of rain today. We have got so much rain. My phone went off a minute ago to tell me that we have a flash flood advisory in our area. It just won't stop these days. Okay, there we go. Now we have a beautiful envelope to go with our pretty card. Thanks for stamping with me today. Um, every Tuesday I like to post a video showing how to make one of the cards on my blog. If there's ever a card that you would like to see me make, then just send me a message and let me know and I will do my best to get a video made for you. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great day. Happy stamping.